pray. But Guinness of Water had church. But Philippe's family knew that it was important to follow God's law. So important that they would do it secretly. And they had a secret house church that would worship in their house. And Philippe wanted to be part of the church. He wanted his name written in Grandpa's Bible. But his parents decided that he was too young. He could be part of the church service, but he was too young for that. And one day, Philippe had finished all of his work. And he said, you know, it's a little cool outside, but it's warm up in the hayloft. I think I'll go take a nap because I've got all my work done. So he climbed up in that soft hay and he lay down and he was almost asleep and he heard someone climbing the ladder. And he wasn't trying to be sneaky. He wasn't trying to hide, but he just stayed very still. And he saw his grandpa coming up the ladder and getting the Bible hidden underneath a, a, a blanket or a tarp up there in the attic of the barn and go back down the ladder. So Philippe actually knew where the Bible was hidden. Well, sure enough, about a week later, a terrible thing happened at Philippe's farm. A fire got out of hand and, and uh, started burning up things. And the whole neighborhood showed up and they tried to put it out as fast as they could with buckets of water. Philippe knew of a tree that was growing pretty close to the barn. And the, the front of the barn was already in flame, but he climbed the tree real fast. He ran to that tarp that Grandpa had kept the Bible under and put it in his shirt and climbed back out the window of the barn and down the tree. And then he was trying to, to safety and so forth. And finally, they got all the fire put out and the barn was burned down, but the house was still okay. And everybody was standing around making sure everybody was fine, nobody was hurt. And they noticed that Grandpa had tears in his eyes. And, uh, and he said, I'm glad everybody's okay, but we only had one Bible for our church. And it was the Bible that we had hidden. I had hidden up there in the loft of that, of that barn up in the hayloft. And Philippe was able to say, that's okay. I was able to get up there before the fire got back there, and I saved the Bible, and here it is. Grandpa was so impressed that the whole people, everybody that worshipped in their house church was so thankful that they decided maybe Philippe was old enough. And that next time they worshipped, they actually added his name to the church membership of the Bible. God's word is important. And we live in a country where it's not against the law to have one and to read one and study one. And you've got one. You've got lots of Bibles in your house. And we should read it whenever we can. But we should realize that it's important. Philippe knew that God's word was important. Enough that he ran up there real fast and got it before the fire could destroy it. Sometimes we act as if the Bible is not important enough. And we should learn from Philippe's story that any chance we get to read God's word, we should, because God's word is alive. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you for the Bible. We thank you for Sunday school class. We thank you for church and a chance to hear from the Bible and, and learn its truth. And we thank you for the wonderful privilege of living in a country where we're free to do that. There's no law against it. And we pray for people all over the world that where Christianity is against the law, where they have to be secretive to read God's word and they know how important it is. Help us that live in a free country to recognize how important it is to read God's word and live our lives according to its teaching. In Jesus' name.